Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're looking at Google Docs and we are going to be able to type a little sentence. I think I might start with a little bit of descriptive writing. Um, yeah, let's go with that today. Um, and we're going to be able to type, we're going to be able to use speech to text and we're going to be able to use dictate to read it back to us. So we can check that it definitely makes sense. Then I'm going to quickly show you how we can insert a little image and we will try and see if we can use the explore tool to do something interesting. Um, but we might not quite get to that. Depends how quickly you can type and how quickly you do everything else. And um, so hopefully you've logged in by yourself, P3s or P4s, whoever age you are, you can do that. And um, then we're going to come down to the bottom and we're going to click Google Chrome. So we're going to click the one that's got different colors, Google colors, and it's a circle shape. So we're going to click that, and most of the time it'll take you to this page. And um, we can get to Google Docs in lots and 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 lots of ways. But today, the first way we're going to do it is we're going to click the waffle at the top. We call it a waffle because it's got these nine little squares, kind of looks like a waffle, and you're finding the one that looks like a blue sheet of paper. And it's got little lines to represent right in there. So that's what you're going to click on. So we're going to click on that now. Sometimes, though, you might want to do it through your drive. And you can click on Google Drive. And then just click New and click Docs. Either way, it takes you to the same place. You can always type into the browser as well. But that's another way. That's too fancy. And I want to create a blank doc today. So I'm just going to click the blank button here. And it'll come up with this piece of paper. So, um, my first sentence is going to be that my favorite animal is an elephant. And I'm going to find the full stop, which is in the bottom right hand corner, if you're using the keyboard, um, and I'm going to press that full stop. So, that is me. First task, I've opened up Google Docs. Second task, I've written my sentence, typed it on the keys myself, being very intelligent, Mr. Brown. The next one is going to be, uh, we're going to go for a number sentence. So the sentence I want is, they have one trunk. They have one trunk. So instead of me typing that though, I'm going to use text-to-speech. So I'm going to come down to the bottom. And I already have that set up. I'm going to show you how to set up if you've not done it already. So move Mr. Brown out of the way. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Come down to the bottom. Click in the open corner, go to the accessibility of the little person, and you're finding the one that has dictation. Dictation slash speak. I, I got that wrong earlier, I apologize. So you're wanting that ticked, and you also want this one ticked. If you can do them both, thank you, do it now. Perfect, I want to explain it again, but if not, we'll do it later as well. So I've got dictation clicked, and I'm then going to come down here, and I'm going to click the dictation button, and I'm going to then say my sentence. They have one trunk. And then we'll press again so it stops. And it types my sentence for me. Fantastic. And um, I might also, sometimes, if I don't want to go that way, I can click tools and I can come down to voice type. And all you can see there, I can press Control Shift S. And that works as well. And um, so if I was to click that, they are grey. Oh, I need to click to speak. Terrible, Mr. Brown. See, we all learn, we all make mistakes. Click they, oh, and then click allow so we can learn. They are grey. And I've made a mistake there, but I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, because what we're going to do now is we're going to listen back to it. So again, hover at the bottom, bring your mouse as low down as you can, and we're going to click that little speech bit, and we're going to highlight what we've got so far. My favorite animal is an elephant. They have one trunk. They are great. Oh dear. So I've made a mistake. Instead of saying they are grey, it says they are great. Well, kind of true. But I'm going to backspace, back, backspace and then I'm going to fix it. Like why. So I've done my typing, done that. Now we're going to add a picture. So because we want to put a picture in the document, in the document, we're going to go to insert at the top. Insert. In the document, insert. So we click insert. And we go to image at the top, and we're going to choose search the web. So that means I don't need to have the picture already. It's going to search the web for me. So I'm going to type in elephant at the top, and I'm going to click search. And it's going to come up with lots of great pictures of elephants. I, I like that one right at the top, so I'm going to just drag it across, 
and I'm going to drop it. I'm just going to create it and just going to put it right in my document. I might want to make it a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to click on it, come to the corner, and just drag that in. And I'm going to make that smaller. You might want one, you might want two, you might want a few. And a little sneaky tip, if it does this and it doesn't go where you want it to go, you can just press enter a few times and it'll move further down. Um, so that's how we put it in. We can get lots of them in there. Um, you can also use your um, speech to text as well. If I click there and then come down to the bottom and click my, 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 my microphone, elephant tusk. I can use that instead. So I don't need to just be typing everything. I can use my voice as well. If maybe you find typing a little bit hard. Um, and I can drag any pictures I want in there as well. Uh, the final thing I said I was going to do today, but I'm actually going to do two, I'm being really sneaky, or I might actually do three. Um, the next thing I can do is any time that I maybe want to stay on my document but find out more information, I can go to Tools, I can come to Explore, and I can type here, oh, Elephant already comes up at the top, not eBay, Mr. Brown, Elephant. And you'll see here, it comes up like I've done a Google search. So I can find facts from there that I can then type about in my sentence. So there's one here that says the speed of an African bush elephant is 40 kilometers an hour. So I might write an, oh, it's gone somewhere else. Sorry, my mistake. I might write, am I way down here? Oh, I've lost it. Oh, Mr. Brown, I'll have to get another picture there. Let's type that in first. An African, Bush elephant can run at 40 kilometers an hour. So I can add that little fact in, um, just to add a bit more to it. You can also then click in images, the images come back up. There's my elephant, in you go buddy. And it also goes to my Google Drive as well. So anything that I want to find in my Google Drive, I can also search it here. So it means it's really easy to use. Um, final thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a little title. If I click at the top, it'll steal a sentence. I'm just gonna leave it as that sentence. Leave it there, fabulous. And the last thing is I'm gonna share it with my class teacher. So I'm gonna click the share button and I'm gonna type in the name of my class teacher when it comes up, like so. And um, we're just gonna type it there, Mr. Brown and Mr. Brown come up. I'm gonna share this to Mrs. Mitchell. She's not gonna enjoy it. Or she might, who knows. And then I'm just gonna click send. And that means that they've got it. Fabulous, that is all the learning today. Quite a lot today. So best of luck, but hopefully you can open docs, you can type something by yourself, you can use voice type, you can check that it makes sense through using the text-to-speech, um, or, yeah, uh, or text reader, I can't remember which one it was, um, and then you can insert a picture in different ways, and hopefully you can then share it. But that's been everything. Best of luck. See you soon.